Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April the 19th of 2021. Well, it is titled the galactic center in infrared. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the center of our galaxy. Now the center of our galaxy is not something that stands out in the sky. And for those in the northern hemisphere, if you uh, late summer or early fall, if you look towards the south, you're actually looking towards the constellation of Sagittarius and the center of our galaxy. However, it does not stand out as anything bright. And that's because there is so much dust in between us and the center of our galaxy that it is invisible. However, if you could look in radio waves, it's the brightest radio source in the sky. And that was in fact the first radio source detected by Carl Jansky back in the 1930s. So he, when what why is that? Well, the way radio waves are longer wavelengths and are better able to penetrate dust and make it through than shorter wavelength visible light. So here we're looking not in radio waves, but in infrared. Infrared is also longer wavelength, so it's still better able to penetrate the dust. Although you can see some denser areas of dust here where it is unable to penetrate. So even the infrared is not always able to penetrate everything. The longer the wavelength, the better able it is to penetrate through the dust. But this gives us a chance to look into the center of the galaxy and see some of the dense star clouds that are associated with it and some very young stars that have just formed. So we can see some of uh, some of these uh, here in this image. And this was taken with the Spitzer Space Telescope, which looks and studies the universe in in the infrared and again allows us to penetrate a lot of that dust and get a better view of what is happening at the center of our galaxy. So here we get to look at a relatively small section about 900 light years around the central portions of our galaxy. So we're not looking into the very central portion in great detail where we would see the supermassive black hole that is at the center, as we've looked at with other galaxies. Here, we're looking at a little wider view and trying to get a good picture of what the central regions of our galaxy are like, not just that central most black hole. And again, we can see a lot of star clusters and still a lot of dust associated with it and a lot of star formation that has been going on and continues to go on. When we look close down to the very center, we also see lots of supernova remnants from stars that have exploded, but that we did not even see because of the amount of dust in between us and the galactic center. There is enough dust there to block out anything that even the brightness of an exploding star can be completely blocked out. So that was our picture of the day for April the 19th of 2021. It was titled the Galactic Center in Infrared. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be destroyed by a black hole. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.